Okay. Hey everyone, it's Johnny Adamson with Pampered Chef, and I have with me two guest chefs tonight. Angela and Ashlyn are going to help me. We're going to make some uh, brownies for a video and for dessert. Uh, we're going to load this video into a virtual party we're doing this week. So, this is just a regular chocolate brownie cake mix. We've got some mint chocolate chips we're going to melt and drizzle over them. Uh, and we're going to mix this up, pop these into our brownie pan. The brownie pan is one of our great products. It's continuing in the line, but it is going up. So if you want to get it at regular price, you need to order it before September the 1st because it will be going up in the new catalog in that September 1st date. So I'm going to let you mm -hmm. oversee Ashlyn. Ashlyn's okay. going to mix those, and then we're going to... I'm going to put the water in. This is a quarter cup of water. That's a third a cup of oil. You can go ahead and put it in. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Third cup of oil went into it. Third cup of oil. Thanks to our wonderful measuring spoons. These are, yeah, and they come in a set of six. Down. They come in a set of six. One quarter, one third, one half, three, two thirds. <laughs> Three quarters and one cup. Fantastic. And this does more than just brownies. It does lasagnas, omelets, quiche, um, meatloaves, almost anything. And it comes with a little e-file cookbook if you'd like to have, have it. Um, when you purchase that, I look through my orders and Angela will do the same. And she will start forwarding that to her customers that buy this as well. Okay. So now we're going to add the one egg. So, you get one right here. Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> we'll play. Double yeah. prepared. Okay. And we'll, we always crack our eggs into a one cup prep bowl because if there's a bad egg, you don't want to have cracked it into the mix. So, I always do that. This one's in great shape, so we'll put it in there. Brought that in the sink. And I said, I'm going to crack the egg for you. Now you can stir this up. Okay? Be careful to just keep it all in the bowl. Okay? While y'all are doing that, Yay. when she's finished with that, mm -hmm. you need to put two scoops in each one of these, but go ahead and spray it. Spray it. You know how to use the oil, yes, the veggie sprayer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This sprayer is awesome too. Okay. Oh, it's full. That's ready to go. Good. So instead of those can sprayers, this sprayer actually doesn't require any other. Preservatives, aerosols, all that. It's all done with the pump. And you do have to, once you've used it, you do have to burp it so that it doesn't gunk it up because it can do that. But it is dishwasher safe, right? It is, but Part of it. Uh, top rack. Part of it is? Top yeah. rack, yes. The entire, the entire thing, the glass pieces is actually bottom rack. The other is top rack. Um, is that coming together good? Mm -hmm. I am mixing a little oil with our chocolate chip morsels, or mint morsels. I'm going to microwave them for 30 seconds in the microwave. Start them smooth, and then we're going to drizzle that over the top of the brownies once they are done. So. I got the tool destruction. <coughs> that is, is a really large, good scoop. That is our large stainless scoop. It is one of three. This one is ideal. Two scoops into each one of these brownie pan sections will do, will make the brownies excellent and equal portion out. Is this good? So, that? Yeah, this is good. That looks good, yes. chips in the batter as well. It's a mint brownie batter. I am doing this because I am not just <laughs> I'm not very good at this. But you don't have to be a perfect chef to be a perfect chef. That's exactly right. We are pampered by perfect chefs. 15 hours later, I wish we had a fast forward on this. It is not a pampered chef party unless 
Someone cries? No. Someone <laughs> cries or someone cuts themselves, usually. Oh, so. No, come oh, on. Um, <laughs> when I first started, I cut myself almost at every show I did. I even cut myself on the pizza cutter. What? You're not pizza. I know, but I cut my. I pulled the cover off and sliced my thumb and my index. Finger. How stupid is I mean, how smart is that? Yeah. <laughs> Fast forward. <laughs> um, did you hear about the one? No. Other there. items that are going up. Thank you. <laughs> other items that will be going up in the new catalog are our mix and chops. I have this one out. This was the help with cancer one. So every October and May we do sponsor a partnership with Help with Cancer, and we come out with a peak product. This was our October peak product. It's the mix and chop. You use it to chop ground beef, mashed potatoes, peas, broccoli, anything you want to mash up and make kind of chunky or smooth. Uh, and we're going to use it tonight in our recipe for the Philly cheese steak sliders that I'm making. So when you and when y'all finish up at the ballpark, text and see if we're still around and I'll see if we have any left and you have to come by and grab one. Uh, the other item that's going up are our salad choppers. They call these salad choppers, but these really are perfect for chopping chicken, steak, anything up into shreds that you want to do like uh, fajita or taco meat. So, and each one of these will be going up in our October, I mean our September 1st catalog. So that's why they're out here. What else do we need to do? I just wanted to wipe the edges with a paper towel. But There's a paper towel. Snake. Are we, um, yeah, we can do that. Just leave that down in there. Just get the whole thing over there. We're not going to make you wait the, the 18 minutes no. on the video for these to actually cook, <laughs> but uh, we will post a prepping the, a drizzling with the um, mint chocolate chips and afterwards, but we're going to do the prep right now, okay? So we're good for right now. If you'll hit the red button, turn us on.